Hi folks, it's Mike Murphy. Today's quick tip is an Adobe Photoshop CC 2020. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can get high quality vector emoji graphics that you can use in any of your project and you can get them easily right inside of Photoshop. To get emojis inside of Photoshop, all you need is the type tool. Tap on the keyboard shortcut T for the type tool or in the menu bar, just click on the T. Then you're going to select the font. The font that you're looking for is Emoji 1. The Emoji 1 color font is made by Adobe and it is pre-installed in all of your Adobe Creative Cloud applications already. So you already have it. There is nothing to install. Just go ahead and click on it. And the Glyphs panel should open by default. If it doesn't, you can just come up here to the window menu and select Glyphs. If it's too small for you, you can come down here in the bottom left. You can zoom in and zoom out by dragging the slider, or you can just click on these mountains here to zoom way in or zoom out. There's a scroll bar on the far right, so you can scroll up and down. To actually use the emojis and get them onto your Photoshop document, you need to be on the Type tool. Keyboard shortcut T, or just click on the T in the toolbar. Then you're going to click on your Photoshop document. You'll see the blinking cursor, just like you would if you were going to type out the words, and just double click on any one of these and we'll add it to your Photoshop document. You'll see the cursor is still blinking, so you can continue to add these. So you just double click on it and it'll add it just like you're typing out a word. You can click on the check mark to commit that. You can see over here in the layers panel, that is just a text layer. You could select them, you could change the size. So if you just wanna make these bigger, you could do that. As you add glyphs, you will see at the very top here, it'll keep track of your most recent, so you can easily access them. If you ever want to clear out this list, you can come over here to this little hamburger menu and select clear recent glyphs and that will get rid of those, but it will not remove them from your Photoshop document. Text layers in Photoshop by default are vectors. And what that means is that no matter how big or small you make them, you are not going to lose image quality. If you want to customize it at this point, remember this is just an editable text layer. So you can change it at any time. You can add layer styles. So if you want to add drop shadows or bevel embosses, you can do so. If you want to change the color, for that you probably want to rasterize the type, which means it will no longer be editable text. So I'm going to hit Command J to make a copy. I'll hide the original one. I'm going to right click or control click on this. I'm going to select right here, rasterize type. I can just come over here and grab the paint bucket tool. Just get any color you want. We'll select this blue. I can just click in here. And now I just change it to blue. I can change this to pink. There are many different ways to export this. I'm just going to select the layer. I'm going to right click on it and I'm going to select export as. I'm going to save it as a PNG. I'm going to keep transparency checked so there's no background. I'm just going to click export, click save. Nice touch Adobe. You see the little owl symbols there. I'll click the space bar to preview and now I have myself an emoji that I can use anywhere. My name is Mike Murphy and that is how you get emojis in Adobe Photoshop CC 2020. Cheers.